Derek Melber here from Allsid. I wanted to talk to you a little bit about how the SD prop process works and how an attacker can actually infiltrate this backend process, which is so important to Active Directory, to create a persistent privileged environment for them for future attacks. Now, if we kind of jump into the whole SD prop process, what I want to do is show you what it looks like in the replication process. So this right here are all of the ACL changes, and you'll notice that those are occurring on privileged groups. Microsoft has flagged inside of Active Directory which groups are privileged and which ones will actually receive the update from the SD prop process. Now, the SD prop process runs every 60 minutes, and it utilizes the admin SD holder object and the ACL on that object. So if I go and look at the actual permissions that are listed on the ACL, you'll see that there's this list. Now, the process of SDProp is geared towards protecting privileged groups so that if someone were to go into, let's say, the domain admins group and modify the ACL, it would only be modified for a maximum of 60 minutes. Well, the attackers and what they're doing is they're saying that they want to get privileges all the time and even if someone fixes an ACL on a privileged group then the attacker is going to be put back on there in the next 60 minutes. The way this would occur is the attacker would actually go into the admin SD holder ACL and in essence add themselves. Now of course they would want to have the highest privilege possible. Now as soon as this is updated you will notice that we see this as an issue. Now, this shows up also on the indicator of exposure, and now you have a new indicator of exposure that you can see the details. So whether it be through the trail flow or through the indicator of exposure, you have the ability to go in and look to see the details. Now, what we try to do is we try to give you all of the detailed information that is showing up on all of these ACLs and the ACEs, the access control entries. So instead of having to go through and decrypt the SDDL, the security descriptor, what we do is we actually show you in clear color coded red is bad, which particular entry is a problem. So not only are you able to get a real time as you saw how quick it showed up inside of the trail flow, a real-time alert on the fact that this is an issue, but now you have the ability to look at the details so your security team doesn't have to dig through the information to find it. Of course, Allsid can directly send this information to your SIM or SOAR. Ideally, as soon as the security team receives an indication of exposure or something through the trail flow, an alert, something like that, you can immediately look at the information, go back to the object in Active Directory that's causing the security issue, and I can go in here and I can remove this, and as soon as I remove it, you'll see in the trail flow that now that particular entry has been cured. This is exactly what Allsid is all about, allowing your security team to be notified of misconfigurations, and configurations that lead to attack paths so they can immediately remedy that particular configuration. This has been Derek Melber. Thanks for watching.